Hi everybody, so in today's tutorial video we're going to look at how to listen to multiple components um, on our panel. So at the moment, uh, in my project, I've got an action listener attached to my submit button. What I want to do is attach a listener to my new generate registration number button. And um, when I click this button, a registration number is going to be generated and displayed here. And when I click submit, this registration number is going to be written to the file as part of the data string that um, that we're writing to the file. OK, so let's look at how to add an action listener to multiple um, components on a panel. As you can see in my um, setup code here, in my um, constructor method for my panel where I'm setting up all of my components, I've created a new J button called regnum button and I've given it a location, added it to the panel and I've added an action listener to it. I've also created a label um, which is this label here, which will display the registration number that is generated before we hit submit. So let's close this for a moment and we'll go down to my, these are all the methods that I've been designing in my class. The one I'm interested in looking at is my action performed. At the moment, the action performed is connected to my submit button. But actually, I want to look at which action event is happening and process that event accordingly. Okay, so the way to do that is to monitor what the value of E is. Okay, so let's have a look at how to do that. If E, which is our action event, dot get source. What is the source of the action event if that equals an object and the object is my submit button? So if this action event E, if the source of that action event is the submit button, we're going to do something. And we can continue our logic if E's source is the same as uh, what did I call my generate reg num button? This is my other button, reg num button. So if E dot get source is the same as reg num button then we'll do, we'll do something else. Okay, now let's just reorganize my code. All of this code here is my submit button code. So I'm just gonna cut all that and paste it into this logic. Okay, this is my submit button code. If I click, well, let's, let's check that that's working. Do we have any errors? Is this still working as expected? Yes, identity not checked. Oh, we've got some errors. Let's just add some data in here. I haven't done any data validation, so that's still going to work. Do you want to proceed? Brilliant. There's my little um, confirmation box. Yes registration complete successfully wrote to the file okay so things are working at the moment so how can we how can we get this working well let's let's do a little bit of test if i click the registration number button i'm going to generate a string i'm going to call a function called um, um, generate regnum and that function is going to return a string which I'm going to assign 
to my regnum label first and then and then we'll deal with it after that so regnum label dot set text wow there's loads of uh, cool code associated with j labels okay so when we click the reg button we're going to call a function get the return string and send that to the regnum label okay so now i'm just going to go and design that function there i'm not going to design the whole thing but this is a function ah, i'm going to make it private this is just called within the class what did I call it? Generate red num. And just to test everything, I'm going to return. Um, uh, what shall I return? Um, reg, reg, reg num. Okay. So when I click the reg num button, I call a function which gives me the registration number and I send it to my label. Okay, so let's test this and see if it works. Yay, it works. And then hopefully when I click the submit button later, this will become part of the string that is written to the file about the user registration. Now, of course, I'm going to have to redesign the submit action event because even if I press sub proof of identity now, if I fill in all of these, but this label doesn't have any information in it, let's say it's an empty at, at, at the start, and I click submit, I want a warning to appear no registration number generated okay so you're going to have to go and redesign your code a little bit for um, your submit button action listener okay but now you know how to add multiple action listeners to a panel